thought I would start with the finished paintings. These are 12 by 48. And I start the paintings with smaller inspirational studies. And then I take those studies and I look at them and let them themselves and the process of doing the studies give me the inspiration to further paint a larger painting. And this is the, these are the two that I ended up with. And I like them. I will probably leave them. I've let them sit for a couple days to see what I think. I want them to be minimalistic, expressionist enough to stay as, um, without a lot more on them. However, the underpainting has a whole lot. There are areas that are extremely thick paint that it's raised. So there's a lot going on in the painting that, um, gives its own character without adding additional darker marks on the top. So I'm going to take you through the process of taking smaller pieces of art and creating larger pieces of art and the thought process that I put into when I paint and go through this process. So before we get into the painting, let me just introduce myself. My name is Cheryl Wilson, if you're new, and I'm an abstract painter. On this channel, I do a lot of painting. I do some artist chats. I talk about processes and tools and um, some things that might help the mindset and that inner critic that we all have. But I mainly paint and I paint by showing you my artist journey, how I'm learning the techniques I use. And for those that have come back, thank you so, so much for being a part of my journey with me. And I'm just really enjoying getting to know many of you and so many of the beautiful comments that you've left me. It means a lot to me. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, turn some music on and I'm just going to start playing on these quadrants. In fact, what I may do is go ahead and draw a draw a line because these are going to be my ideas for larger paintings, but I'm going to feel really free just to paint on here. So I don't know where this is going to take me, but I'm just going to go for it and um, I think I may turn it like this and I, I may I may try different things so I'm going to just um, I'm gonna put a little marker where I need to keep my paper and if I do it like this because I don't want to get out of frame for you but I'm gonna get in the zone here so I don't want to go any lower than that so I'm gonna get in the zone here and start painting and uh, making marks and see where this takes me.
All right, to continue, I have my little studies. And <clears throat> as I go through them, they're meant to just give inspiration to me. I cut them out. I can look at them. And I can, you know, I love this one. Of course, I would like move this over and make sure that the design is something I like and doesn't resemble anything other than what I want it to. And um, I already showed that one. They're just inspirational little studies for me. So I can take these and move them onto a larger canvas or I can just go for it on a larger canvas. Like for instance, um, <clears throat> this one. This is a style that I seem to like. And so it came alive on this larger canvas. I think this is like a maybe 18 by 24. I don't know, I'd have to measure it. But it's, um, <clears throat> what I like about it, it's very textual. And here, the underpainting has actually like a couple layers. It's not just one layer. And when you do it on paper, it may look a little easier. The layers may look less um, built up than they do on the canvas. But the, um, the techniques that I use on the canvas, like using the shop towel to pull off some of the... the uh, paint when I'm painting, um, <clears throat> going, using charcoal, graphite, um, my marks, carrying the black through the painting. That's what to me made the painting uniquely mine and something I like. This one too, it was kind of like a takeoff of the colors. So I used um, that Titan Buff. And I used, um, actually, what this is down here is, I don't know, maybe just leave that. This is a piece of handmade paper. And it was a painting that I had made with um, some of the 56 on it and kind of made, it turned out into shapes. And I didn't like it per se as the painting as a whole um, by itself so <clears throat> incorporating ripping it up and adding it to one of my larger paintings is exactly what I needed I needed that extra it's almost like a landscape with um, you know like a dock with stones or something here and then this is another piece of handmade paper I've posted this on my social media and I've gotten a lot of uh, good comments on it. So it is um, it is a beautiful piece to me and um, other people have resonated. Again, not everybody's gonna resonate. Remember that. You could paint a painting, and um, this has happened to me several times. You, you may not even like it. Other people may resonate with it. Or you could paint a painting, but it's totally up to you as an artist whether you keep it or not. Or you could paint a painting and you really like it and other people don't really connect with it. Um, it's up to you as the artist on if you keep the painting, if you paint over it. I like the idea of keeping paintings around um, if you have extra canvases to go back and revisit them a couple years later because a lot of times you'll, you'll see something in it that you remember, oh my goodness, that was where I was two years ago. And I really like that technique. I like where I was going and you may keep building on it. So what I'm gonna do is I have two uh, long 48 inch by 24 inch, I think maybe 12 by 48, two of them. And um, I'm gonna try to get them in frame on the table and I'm going to paint uh, on those using some of the same techniques, some of the same ideas that I used in my samples. And of course, I will go off script because that's just the way I am and it will eventually turn into um, 
an inspirational painting based on what I'm creating at the moment. I may not always follow this. I will go off on my own. So let's go over to the table and um, let me get started on uh, a larger piece. I am going to take my beautiful necklace off um, <clears throat> because as I lean over, it will get into the paint. But um, I just, I wore this for you because I'm just in, I'm just loving. I've actually had, um, this was um, a piece that was sent to me. I, I've, I've had, um, uh, some gifted to me because I've been wearing them and it's just I'm I'm really enjoying it. So let's hop over to the table before I keep talking. <laughs> 